Hi, I'm Daniel Souza and welcome to Aptitude Academy. So the problem today is 50 is divided into two parts. The sum of their reciprocals is 1 by 12. Find the two parts. Now you could let both those parts be x and y. But why do you want the extra variable y when you know that x is divided into two parts? So let the two numbers be x and 50 minus x because we know that when you add x and 50 minus x, plus x and minus x will get cancelled and you will have 50. So now we got our two terms. Now going to the second statement, the sum of their reciprocals is 1 by 12. So now some of the reciprocals will be 1 by x and 1 by 50 minus x. They've given it's equal to 1 by 12. Now you take the LCM on the left hand side, you will get x and 50 minus x. Now if you divide this by x, you will get 50 minus x. And if you divide this by 50 minus x, you will get plus x. Now 50 minus x plus x, they get cancelled upon x into 50 minus x is equal to 1 by 12. Now, if you take 12 here and multiply it by 50 and you take x into 50 minus x into 1, you will get this. 12 into 50 is equal to x into 50 minus x. Now multiply this here, you will get 50x minus x square. Now come all the way here. Here's where you solve the equation. Now you've got x square minus 50x plus 600. Now this is just taking this on this side so that minus x square will become plus x square and plus 50x will become minus 50x. So now you reach here. You've got x square minus 50x plus 600 is equal to 0. Now when you're factorizing, you need to make sure that when you divide this minus 50 into two terms, when you add them up, they'll be minus 50, but when you multiply them, they'll be plus 600. So I've divided it x square minus 30x minus 20x plus 600. You could have divided it as minus 60 plus 10, but that will not work because minus 60 plus 10, however, will give you minus 50. But when you multiply minus 60 and plus 10, it will give you minus 600, right? So now x square minus 30x minus 20x plus 600. Now x into x minus 30, I've taken x common here, minus 20 I've taken common here, into x minus 30. So now you get two factors, x minus 30 and x minus 20 is equal to 0. Now if you equate both of them to 0, you will either get x is equal to 20 or x is equal to 30. Now if you take x is equal to 20, right, if x is equal to 20, then the second term will be 50 minus 20, that will be 30. And if you take x is equal to 30, then your 50 minus 30 will be 20. So your answer is 20 and 30. Thank you.